This is Scott with Insane Asylum, and I kind of want to go over some differences in some speakers. I see a lot of comments out there about 8 inch, and the term mid bass and mid, it gets thrown around a lot, and a lot of times it's not correct. So I kind of want to go over these three and give you a little rundown of what determines what is a mid bass and what's an actual mid. Okay, so I've got three different 8 inch Euphoria Expert Series speakers. These two are mids, this is a mid bass. This is what I want to kind of cover. There's a big difference in what's a mid and what is a mid bass. The other difference in these two actual mids is going to be one's a carbon fiber cone, one's what we're going to refer to as a paper cone. It is a treated paper, there is some water resistance properties to it, but we'll just call it a paper cone. This one's going to have a much higher sensitivity than the carbon fiber because of the weight. Um, the carbon fiber is going to have a lower FS and play lower also because of the weight. So there's different applications for both of these. These are still both considered mids. Now if you look at this one, it's got kind of a carbon fiber, it's got the weight, but you give up sensitivity for frequency range. I'm going to go back and we'll cover the differences of this one, this one, and this one. So on the paper cones, I actually just measured them because I will go off the website. It's actually been pretty accurate, but I want to know exactly. So these are actual measurements I just did 10 minutes ago. So the FS on this regular paper cone is 71 Hertz. Sensitivity is 97.8. So what that means is when you give this speaker one watt, it's going to play 97.8 dB. It's pretty sensitive. Uh, this one is the FS measured at 63 Hertz with a sensitivity of 91. So a couple things you have to remember. Sensitivity, you get more sensitivity when the cone is light. You get a lower FS when the cone is heavier. So it's kind of a give and take. We'll go over some applications of what you should use each one for. Doesn't miss. Okay, so then this eight is the newest eight that we have out. This is a true mid base eight. These are mids. This is a mid, this is a true mid bass. What determines the difference in the three is the frequency range that they play. This one's got a heavier cone, a heavier surround, more moving mass overall. It's a, you can see the motor structure is a lot bigger, so it's gonna have more control over that mass. Um, you do give up a little bit of sensitivity for those things though. This one actually measured at 90 dB sensitivity and with an FS of 56 Hertz. So to kind of go over frequency range and the what determines what is what this one will play from about 40 hertz up to around 5k most readers will take over from there this one with the carbon fiber remember has a higher moving mass so a lower fs um, it will play about 65 hertz up to around 6k this is the lightest one most sensitive it will play from about 80 hertz up to 8k so different applications you would use this for if you're doing an overall system where you have like one of these in your bags or enclosure somewhere, this is covering your low end, this is your mid range. This is a higher sensitivity, so it's gonna be louder, have more details because the cone is lighter. This covers the lows. You would use this one in an application where you don't have something else covering the lows and you want something to play lower. They still have a lot of detail. They're not gonna be as loud, but it'll give you a fuller sound when you don't have a mid bass or a sub to go with it. So kind of going back, these are three in the lineup of the Euphoria Expert series. All three kick ass. They all have a great purpose for the right application. It's not that one's better than the other. They just have different applications. And now we also kind of covered, I, I just, I read a lot on Facebook from all these guys that are super active, but they're calling this a mid bass. This is not a mid bass, this is a mid. This is a mid, this is a true mid bass. We can go into talking about subs on another one. I don't want to go too long on this. Um, if you have questions, post them up, give us a call at the shop. We can answer any questions for you and uh, we'll do another one soon.